Anna Nicole Smith, Painful Secrets of America's Sweetheart Revealed. As the world tuned in to watch the glamorous and tumultuous life of Anna Nicole Smith unfold on their television screens, few could have predicted the heartbreaking end that awaited the young starlet. With a magnetic personality and a figure that turned heads wherever she went, Anna's life was a roller coaster ride of fame, fortune, and scandal. But sadly, at just 39 years old, Anna's life came to a tragic and untimely end, leaving behind a legacy that continues to captivate and intrigue to this day. Anna Nicole Smith, a blonde bombshell, became an icon of beauty in the mid-90s, captured the hearts of many with her voluptuous figure and magnetic personality. Her journey from dancer to model to reality TV star was filled with twists and turns that kept her in the limelight. However, despite her fame and fortune, Anna's life was never far from the tabloids. One of the most well-known events in Anna's life was the inheritance lawsuit based on J. Howard Marshall II, her husband who was 63 years her senior. The legal battle added to the already existing controversy surrounding her, such as her weight fluctuations and the tragic death of her son within a week of her daughter's birth. Born as Vicki Lynn Hogan on November 28, 1967, in Houston, Texas, Anna was the daughter of Donald Hogan, an itinerant laborer, and 16-year-old Virgie Tabers, who later became a deputy sheriff. Anna's parents' marriage eventually dissolved and she grew up in Mexico, a small town in Texas. Anna Nicole Smith had a lifelong fascination with Marilyn Monroe and from a young age dreamed of leaving behind the small town life she was born into. Unfortunately, she dropped out of school in ninth grade, but she didn't let that stop her from pursuing her goals. At 17, Smith married her co-worker at Crispy Fried Chicken, Billy Wayne Smith, who was only 16 at the time. The couple had a son, Daniel, but their marriage didn't last. With a young child to support, Smith left her job at the fast food restaurant to find work at Walmart, Red Lobster, and eventually as an exotic dancer in Houston. She already had blonde hair and a curvaceous figure, but she underwent breast enlargement surgery to enhance her career opportunities. It was in Houston that Smith met J. Howard Marshall II, a wealthy businessman who was immediately captivated by her beauty and charm. With the encouragement of a friend, Smith submitted photos of herself to Playboy magazine. Her appearance on the March 1992 cover and her subsequent title of 1993 Playmate of the Year launched her modeling career. Smith's success in Playboy caught the attention of fashion industry insiders and she soon became the face of Guess Jeans. At the suggestion of her agent, she changed her name from Vicky to Anna Nicole to better suit her new persona. In 1994, at the age of 26, Smith married J. Howard Marshall II, who was 89 years old at the time. While the marriage was controversial due to their significant age difference, Smith remained devoted to Marshall until his death in 1995. After J. Howard Marshall II's death, Anna Nicole Smith found herself entangled in a legal dispute with her stepson, E. Pierce Marshall, over her late husband's inheritance. The battle lasted for years and went through multiple court systems before finally reaching the Supreme Court in 2006. During this tumultuous time, Smith was approached by a network to film a reality TV show. Despite the controversy surrounding her, Smith agreed to the opportunity, citing her love for cameras. The show showcased her life, both the highs and lows, and became one of the highest rated shows in the history of E! despite being criticized by some. In an effort to promote the show, Smith expressed confidence that people would become hooked and unable to turn away. Her life was a constant roller coaster, and she invited viewers to come along for the ride. Anna Nicole Smith's life was marked by a series of dramatic events that continued even after her reality TV show ended. Among the many challenges she faced, Smith found herself embroiled in a legal dispute with Trim Spa, a weight loss service she had endorsed. The company was sued for false advertising and Smith was forced to appear in court to defend her involvement with the product. 
Tragically, Smith also suffered the loss of her son from her first marriage to a drug overdose, which occurred in the same week that she gave birth to her daughter. The paternity of her daughter was immediately called into question and became the subject of a legal case. Despite the difficulties she faced, Smith seemed to thrive on the attention she received, famously telling the New York Times that she loved the paparazzi. Her sister, Donna Hogan, observed that Anna was driven to succeed and make a name for herself, while Smith herself once claimed to have achieved all the goals she had set for herself. The media often portrayed Smith as a symbol of new era in celebrity culture. As Kathleen Moran, an American Studies lecturer at the Universities of California at Berkeley, noted in the Chicago Tribune, many people were inspired by Smith's ability to rise to fame from humble beginnings and navigate the cutthroat world of show business. Adam Bernstein and Tamara Jones of the Washington Post labeled Smith a postmodern pinup for a tabloid age, suggesting that she represented a new kind of celebrity who was at once vulnerable and empowered. Anna Nicole Smith gave birth to her second child, a daughter named Daniel Lynn, on September 7, 2006, in the Bahamas. Sadly, just three days later, her 20-year-old son Daniel passed away in the same hospital room from a suspected drug overdose. Smith had often spoke about her fear of dying like her idol Marilyn Monroe from a drug overdose. The loss of her son was devastating for her and she struggled with severe depression, resulting in her being prescribed multiple medications. The tragic events surrounding the birth of her daughter and the death of her son further added to the tumultuous life of Anna Nicole Smith whose story had already been filled with ups and downs. Anna Nicole Smith made headlines again over the paternity of her daughter, Daniel Lynn. Her ex-boyfriend and photographer, Larry Burkett, claimed to be the father, but Anna insisted that her attorney, Howard K. Stern, was the biological father and listed him on the birth certificate. Amid the paternity controversy, Anna and Stern held a small commitment ceremony, but it was not legally binding. Unfortunately, on February 8, 2007, Anna passed away at the young age of 39 from an accidental overdose of prescription medications, including a sleeping aid that interacted poorly with other drugs she was taking. Her death was a tragic end to a life that was full of both highs and lows, but her legacy as a resilient and determined individual who rose to fame from humble beginnings continues to inspire many people. Goodbye, Anna Nicole Smith.